hello everybody and welcome back to my channel so it's a new week we have a new video going on i thought it would be interesting if i discussed my experience playing collegiate volleyball for those of you who didn't know which i'm sure a lot of you know i played volleyball at the university of iowa and I quit after my freshman year. So I went through a fall season and then a spring season. And then that summer I went to Japan to visit my family. And I was just like, I don't want to go back. I don't want to do this. I made it through a year. Um, it was a hard year, but it was a fun year. You know, your freshman year. You just get to experience new things, meet new people, and volleyball was definitely a great way for me to put myself out there and make new friends because I'm really shy when it comes to socializing and things like that. I'm always just like, well, what if people don't like me and I don't know how to talk to people, but volleyball really kind of forced me out into that realm of socialization, if that makes any sense. When I quit, I never really, I didn't post about it I didn't post about it on any social media I don't know why I think I was kind of sad I felt like I was letting people down because I don't know but it, it, it doesn't make sense because realistically I'm not letting anyone down you know if if I'm unhappy and I want to change it why would people be upset about that you know, but I didn't know if I should explain it to people, if I should just let it be, so I just let it be, and no one asked me about it, really. No one, you know, texted me and be like, oh my god, you quit volleyball, like, what the hell, and I was, which I was kind of expecting, I was kind of expecting people to be like, oh my god, you quit, and like, oh, she quit volleyball, and all this stuff, and I'm just like, no, no one cares that much. Like, it's been so long since I quit volleyball because I'm a junior now. So it's been like over two years since I played volleyball and talked about me quitting volleyball, but I'm definitely so much happier like so much happier when I was playing volleyball I was just miserable I didn't want to go to practice ever I dreaded going to practice and I think that's because I'm such a perfectionist that I was so terrified of messing up so every time I went to practice I would be like well, what if I mess up? Like, what if I get yelled at? And I just couldn't get it through my head that that is the whole, that's the process. Like, the, no matter what, you're going to mess up. No matter what, yeah, you're probably going to get yelled at because it's collegiate, you know? Like, your coach, this is their job. And if you're not performing, of course, they're going to yell at you. But for me, I guess I never really had like my club coaches or anything before, no one really yelled at me. And so when I got to college, I was so scared. I was just terrified. And that really, really, really made me not want to go to practice ever. And that mentality was just, I couldn't get out of it. I, th I couldn't get out of it no matter how many times I told myself put your big girl pants on and just play and just do it and if you get yelled at whatever just just pick it back up but no matter how many times I told myself that it never stuck and whenever I messed up I would shut down because I'd be like oh my god it's the end of the world I messed up on something I shanked a ball or I didn't get this dig or I didn't go for something and it was like the end of the world 
and I couldn't get myself out of that. I couldn't do it. And that really put a toll on me. And I was just, I was struggling enormously mentally. I was just breaking down. And at the time I didn't, I didn't really realize it. I was like, oh, well, I'm just a freshman, you know, I'll grow out of it. <clears throat> like, I'm sure everyone feels this way. But as season went on, and then as we got into spring season, I just, it, nothing changed. I thought I would grow up. And I thought something in me would change, but it never did. And that's just the way I am. I couldn't help it. And I couldn't deal with the pressure. Also, I'm a human physiology major. With that, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't balance it either. I was struggling really hard in my classes and I just, I was tired all the time from playing volleyball and practicing. I didn't want to study. I didn't want to do homework. I didn't want to do anything. So freshman year, I mean, I got, I got good grades. Like I got B's and A's, but it was so hard. It was so hard, I remember, because I was obviously a freshman. I didn't know how classes were. I didn't know how exams were. I didn't know how anything was. And on top of that, you throw in volleyball and a really hard major. And I was just so overwhelmed. I was like, I don't know what else I want to do. You know, I don't want to do anything businessy. I don't want to do anything. I want to stay in like the medical field type of thing. Nothing else appealed to me like this appealed to me so I was like okay maybe something has to change at some point because if I can't you know volleyball is going to be temporary I'm not going to play volleyball forever but my major is going to be forever you know that's going to be my job that's going to be my life so I was just kind of like you kind of got to pick and choose one you know if if I was struggling if I, I couldn't handle it something needed to change. It helped make my decision to quit a lot easier because I really wanted to focus on my academics. I That's really what I wanted to do because I don't think if I continued with this major and played volleyball, I don't think I would do as well as I do now in my classes. It would be so hard. And I don't know how anyone does it. I mean, maybe I'm just stupid, but I mean, yeah, sometimes I'm stupid, but I just, I couldn't do it. You know, I, I couldn't do it, which was really sad because, you know, it, it kind of made me question how it kind of made me question my strength and you know all of that so that was really tough it was also just really hard because I played volleyball my whole life and I I played since I was like in fourth grade I think or something like that so letting it go was definitely one of the hardest decisions I've ever made. I don't think there's not going to be a day that goes by that I miss it. You know, I see my old teammates, I see their posts and like my team's posts at Iowa and I'm like, oh, like, I miss that. Like, that was that was fun. Like, playing in games and matches and traveling and everything. Getting to see new places. And that was so much fun. But then I think nothing is as perfect as they seem on the outside. You know, whatever you put on social media, it's going to be the best version. It's going to be the happiest version. So, I have to keep reminding myself, you know, it's... It's not all 
fun and games. I feel like I'm just rambling now. Kind of lost my train of thought. I had a good, I had a good pace going for a while and then I just kind of, I'm blinking, but my body also just felt like complete crap. It was so tired all the time. I would struggle walking to classes because my body just ached and it wasn't sore. It wasn't like a soreness. It was like my joints ached. It was just like an ongoing pain. It never stopped. It never went away because we were always practicing. We were always lifting. We were always doing this and that, you know. So we never really gave our body like a proper break until like, I don't know, maybe like winter break came around or summer. But even then, you know, you're still expected to work out and touch like a volleyball. So I'll definitely, I'm, I'll always be grateful for it. It was such, it was a really good experience and it was a really good learning moment for me. And I was so scared to quit because my whole life was volleyball. My whole entire life has always been volleyball. So I didn't know a life without it. I was like, what am I going to do? I had no idea what, what was going to happen. I had no idea what I was going to do. But once I did quit, you know, I had so much time. I had time to hang out with friends. I had time to actually study and do my homework and put in the work for my classes. You know, I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of myself for being able to walk away from something that didn't make me happy anymore. I was proud of myself for gathering up the courage to say, hey, I need to change something. Because throughout that whole year, I was so scared of what you know, other people would think of me. I was so terrified, you know, and be like, oh, she quit volleyball. Like, she's, like, stupid or something. Like, no, people, it took me so long to realize people really don't, they don't care. Yeah, they'll be like, oh, yeah, did you hear so-and-so quit? But, like, they're not going to keep talking about it for years and years to come. And I was proud of myself for finally realizing that. And I was proud of myself for just being able to let go. It took a lot for me to walk away. But in the end, I think it was it was 100% the right decision. And, you know, I bet people wonder, oh, why didn't you transfer and blah, blah, blah. And I just, I already made a place at Iowa. You know, I didn't want to leave. My sister lives in Iowa City. I didn't want to leave Iowa City. I didn't, you know, I just, I, I didn't want to train. I, it, transferring was not even an option for me. I just didn't care. You know, I, I wanted to stay at Iowa. I wanted to be close to home. I didn't want to have to contact schools again and go through all of that again. Because that was so stressful. I just... I wanted to, I wanted to stay and I did. And there's not a part of me that regrets it. And if there's one thing that you can take away from this is that if you're, it, if you're unhappy, then change something about it. You know, it might not always be the easiest and you know, it sounds so simple. Be like, oh yeah, just change it, you know, change your situation. But there are some situations that you can change and you can make a difference in your life. And, you know, that's what I did. College volleyball was hard. It was very hard. And a part of me, sometimes I wish I would have gone to a smaller school or something. Maybe I would have stuck with it. But I really, I really wanted to play at Iowa. You know, I really just, I wanted to be Hawkeye and I achieved that. I lived it for a short amount of time, <laughs> but 
I made friends from it. You know, I gained so much knowledge about myself and I don't regret anything at all. I hope I covered everything that I wanted to talk about. Let me check my notes. Okay, so I think I got everything that I wanted to talk about. I hope. Because if I left something out, that'd be not great. Because I really want to just explain my thought process. But I hope my thought process is understandable. But thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. Make sure you subscribe down below or wherever the subscribe button is. Because I would really appreciate that. And I will see you guys in my next video. All right. Bye.